one that I want to share today is why I kind of want to touch upon why Asian Americans don't really want to speak up, why they can't speak up. The foreign language fills the one silent room. I want to tell them that my day was fantastic. I want to tell them about all the knowledge that school has blessed me with. I want to tell them about the people that I've met and the achievements that I have accomplished. I want to tell them that everything is amazing because of them. Everything's amazing because they had born me. But do not love her for supposed anger. Say that she is too crazy, too mad, too animalistic. Read too non-human for your liking. But tuck away in the corners of your subconscious your morality. Policing, mass incarceration, economic violence, all of the things that um, people experience on a daily basis, like that's a system that I don't think can be reformed. I don't think there's necessarily like, like capitalism can't really be good capitalism because the essence of of that whole system is to have like exploitation and terror. So basically when I went to Ferguson, I just, it became really apparent and, and really, to me at least, that uh, what's happening is a genocide. And, and you, and you know, what do you, how do you, are you gonna reform, I don't know. You know, like, are you gonna reform a genocide? Are you gonna, how do you change it? Do you ask people to stop killing people? Systemically, it becomes then like this kind of ridiculous idea. By asking people to stop killing us, it just doesn't make sense because uh, we're not dealing with subjective, a subjective thing. We're dealing with the reality that is people are being killed and people are being exploited in with using many policies and calling it policies and calling that is a form of legitimizing them. And try to empathize with this constant frustration. Have you seen my political, social, economic situation oppressed by federal legislation so equality exists only in imagination? I'm a transnational seed created by international relations. So yeah, I wrote a book. It's uh, based upon a lot of things, including police brutality. I was raised in South Central LA, and um, I, I witnessed a lot of of violence growing up, not only against the black or Hispanic community, but also against the Asian and Indian community. And uh, Los Angeles is a huge population of Filipinos and Japanese. And one thing I witnessed is that this is not an issue that's mainly for one group, but for all groups. And I felt this very important because we're witnessing the same thing. Um, I remember in Los Angeles growing up, there was a lot of issues. There was one, one thing I remember growing up in Los Angeles in the 90s, there was a, a lot of conflict between minority groups, especially the Japanese, Latino, and black communities. And I felt like, why did they have any conflict between these two communities? So one thing I started doing was writing poetry to kind of, you know, alleviate those barriers. How do you hold a conversation with the people that you love without being able to speak to them, without succumbing to frustration, without self-loathing, constantly beating in your head, telling you that you'll never be able to tell them that you love them? Rage, regret, tears swell up and are begging to be shown. But no, I hold them back. Thus another question repeats the process. Eyes locked on the bowl. My day was good.